In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use your Google Home and the content you own on Google Play Movies and TV and play them to your Chromecast. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now I'm very excited about today's video as I have been waiting for this feature to come for a very long time. Now let's get right into it. The very first step is to make sure that you are in a supported country. Now right now, this is only available in the US. If you would like to see the full details or check back to see what countries are supported, head to the Google Help Center link in the description below and look through here and you can see what is supported. Here we have the Google Play Movies and TV. If you go down to the very bottom of that page, you can see right here it says English and you could change to whatever country you are in to check to see if you have support. Step number two is to set up your Google Home or your Chromecast device on the same Wi-Fi network and under your Google account. Now this will work on the Google Home, the Google Home Mini, or the Google Home Max, as well as you can use this on a Chromecast, Chromecast Ultra, or a Chromecast built-in device like an Android TV. Step number three is to verify that your Google Home and your Chromecast have been enabled for voice control and more. So we're gonna head into the Google Home application and then we are going to go into the devices tab up here in the top right hand corner. And then right here on the bedroom TV, this is a Chromecast device and you do not see a blue bar. Most likely you have actually already linked your device, so you will not see any blue bar. But if you would like to enable another Chromecast or Chromecast built-in device, you will see this enable voice control and more. So here we have the Chromecast Ultra that we are going to be using today. So if I haven't already, I do need to link this to my account and it will ask if you wanna add the backdrop, you can just select back and then you don't need to do anything else. And then right here, we are going to be using the office speaker. So I need to make sure that I link that as well. And you'll see a few different settings here uh, for the Google Home, making sure that you have voice match enabled and such. And there we have now linked our Google Home and our Chromecast device. Make sure you have also linked your devices to the proper account. In the Google Home app, head to the top left menu, and here you can choose the proper email for your Google Home or your Chromecast. Typically, when you want to link a movie or TV service, you do need to head into the menu of the Google Home application, select more settings, go down to the bottom where it says videos and photos, and here you would link your account. But with the Play Movies and TV, once you enable your Google account to your device, it is already linked together. Step number four is to purchase or rent content from the Google Play Movies and TV application. Now let me show you how you can rent or purchase a movie or take content that you may already own and link it to that app. So first, let's head into the Google Play Movies and TV application. Now if you've never used this app before, it is available on Android as well as iOS. So when you first open up the application, it will show you some recommended titles that you could purchase. Here you do have an option to select free, rent or buy, movie and TV, and this is gonna search many different TV services but we want to purchase a movie right here within the Google Play Movies app. So if I go into the Black Panther movie right here, you can see that we have the option to rent. So you could rent the standard definition or the HD version. Once you rent this, pay for it, you will then be able to cast it from the Google Home. Or if you want to buy the movie, here you could select buy and you could choose to buy the HD or the standard version. Now I have already purchased many movies, so I am just going to go into the library right here, and here is all the different movies that I have available that I could actually cast. So I can choose to cast any of these from my Google Home to play on the TV. You also have the option to play TV shows and seasons that you have purchased as well. Now you may be wondering how I have so many videos in my library. Now let me show you a quick trick. If you have purchased a movie from Amazon, Voodoo, Fandango Now, or even iTunes, you can link those accounts all to the Movies Anywhere application, and then most of the movies that you have purchased will show up in the Google Play Movies app. So if you set up an account in Movies Anywhere, go to the menu here and select Manage Retailers, here you could actually link your Google Play account, your Voodoo account, Prime Video, Fandango Now, and iTunes account, and you will need to use your computer for the iTunes. I have a full video all about how to do that so that you can then sync all of your movies you have already purchased to your Google Play account. Now, if a movie doesn't show up, that just means that the studio does not support the Movies Anywhere application. 
But once you have a movie on Google Play and you sync it, it will then be available on all of the other services. So you'll then see those movies on iTunes and vice versa. You have a movie on iTunes, it will then show up here in Google Play. Really cool feature. Now the next way to add movies into the Google Play Movies and TV app is to link a family member that has already purchased movies. So if we head into the Play Store, go into the menu here, and then go down to Account, here you have the option for Family. Now the family members can be anyone within your household and you can add up to six different people. So if I go into Manage My Family Members, here you can see that Carrie and I are on here and I could add others if I would like and I could add my kids, but if Carrie and I have added movies together, we can share those movies one with another. Now that you have your family account linked, you do need to share those movies with the rest of the family. So if you go into the Play Movies app, open up a movie, right here under Family Library, you have the option to share that movie. So you do need to make sure that those are checked on all the movies you would like to share so that everyone in the family would be able to see those movies. Step number five, now that we have everything set up, all we need to do is activate our Google Home, state the movie that we would like to play, and then say where we would like that movie to play on. Now, if you have already previously set up a default Chromecast device, you would only need to say the name of the movie and then it will play on that device. So here, let me show you what this might look like. Hey Google, play the B movie on the Chromecast Ultra. All right, B movie from Google Play Movies and TV. And Playing on Chromecast Ultra. And just like that, it is playing up here on the TV. If you would like to set a Chromecast as the default video device for a certain Google Home, head into the Google Home application, go under the Devices tab, and then go to that Google Home, and under the settings, you are able to set that default. And then right here, choose Default TV. So today we're going to select Chromecast Ultra. So now when I ask to play a movie, I don't need to specify the name. It will automatically play to the Chromecast Ultra. Now, if we would like to play some other movies, this is what you would do. Play Trolls. Sure, Trolls from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. Hey Google, play Batman Begins. Sure, Batman Begins from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. Excellent. Play Coco. Okay, Coco from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. Play Frozen. Sure, Frozen 2013 from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. Sure, Star Wars The Last Jedi from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. Sure, Ant-Man from Google Play Movies and TV. Playing on Chromecast Ultra. While playing a movie, you can also use the Google Home to adjust certain things about the video, like adding subtitles, changing the volume on Chromecast specific devices, and a few other things, kind of like this. Let's start Ant-Man from the beginning. Let's start Ant-Man from the beginning. Rewind 30 seconds. Hey Google. Pause. I'm Batman. Rewind 10 minutes. Hey Google. Skip 30 minutes. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. Hey Google. That's a cool intro. Okay, good. Set the volume to 30%. You're distracting me. Hey Google. Play that new movie where it's me hanging out with all my new friends. Sure, Avengers Infinity War Wait, from no, Google Play Movies one. and Stop. TV Google, playing on no. Chromecast Ultra.
Well, thanks everyone for helping out today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you share this with that friend. You know, the one that you share all the cool videos with. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. And if you would like to see more videos all about the Chromecast and the Google Home, make sure you select the playlist over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.